Hey everybody, what's going on? Baru here, back inside of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, continuing our road to becoming the Platinum God. It is time for Judas. We have not given Judas a spin, so let's just go ahead and jump into it. Before I continue, I want to thank you all again for all the support, and I'm actually going to briefly touch on that just a little bit here. I actually really do enjoy making this content for you all. And there was a recent comment in here that was thrown on the last video. And I don't think people realize just how much of a morale boost those type of things are. Being able to pretty much say, hey, I like this. So just a quick thank you. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into the run. We're going to be playing as Judas. Now, Judas is a very interesting character. He only starts with one red heart. However, he does start with the Book of Belial. Now, what is that going to do? Well, if we go ahead and hit this, it is going to give us uh, a little bit of extra damage here. And we are actually going to play this a little bit careful here. And I'm probably going to be a little quiet while I do that because this can be a little bit tricky as that little explosion that that guy is doing and this head both do a full heart of damage which will kill me in a single hit and I'd rather not die this early into the video okay I can actually breathe now oh okay well then Sorry, it's just like starting a video and then going right into a boss that can kill you in one hit is not exactly uh, <laughs> what I had in mind, especially when I'm on basement one. Oh man, so Judas can actually be a very difficult character to play as because like I said, he does start with that one red heart. So that does open you up for being one shot by enemies that can do a full heart of damage uh, like those, like that boss that I just fought as well as champions. But he does start with the Book of Belial and that will give you increased damage for the room that you use it in. Uh, for the room that you use it in. In addition, it will also guarantee your devil deals as long as you hold it in your hands which means if we take this to our devil deal even if i was to take red heart damage and you know lose my devil deal i would still get it as long as i'm holding this book now you have to actually have it in your in your hands when you kill the boss picking it up later and then going into your room does not count you have to hold it the entire time that you want to do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check our item room here. Hopefully there's something good. Uh, box of spiders is, is ac it's actually a nice item, but I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to keep my book of Belial and I'm going to go ahead and bomb for this key because I want to have a key going into the next floor. And we do have our five cents, so that is very nice. Unfortunately, our curse room did have a troll bomb in it. So we're going into the next floor with a heart, a soul heart. We have over five cents, so there is a chance that we could get an arcade. Maybe we can try and make a little bit more money. I would love to be able to get that red chest, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. And I don't want to waste the last key on my shop. So, yeah. And I think I need to at least touch that. There we go. Make sure I at least touch every item in the game so that way I can get my, uh, my credit. Now, I'm not going to jump into that curse room just yet. We'll wait till we have just a little bit more health. I'm usually pretty safe with jumping into a curse room as long as I have at least one soul heart uh, protecting myself. Now, obviously, that is completely up to your own skill level. Some people want to wait until after they're done with their devil deal or after they're done with the boss or just don't want to go into their curse room altogether. But I would recommend against that because there's a lot of good items in that pool. And I am going to go ahead and see what this does. Come to Mises. Oh. Well, accidentally, accidentally used the chariot card. So, a little fun fact about the spikes right there. Spikes actually have a circle hitbox rather than the square that you actually see on the ground there. So, if you move diagonally, you can actually squeeze right in between those spikes there and be able to grab whatever's inside, whether it's a chest, a card... 
some money, what have you. As long as you can move diagonally through them, you are just fine. You won't have to worry about them. Now, if it's a solid line, obviously you can't do anything about that, but diagonals are just fine. Now we've killed our first boss here, and we are going to get our devil deal, and it is going to be Spirit of the Night. Now, I want to lock in. It's a little bit risky, but I do want to go ahead and lock in. I do have the matchbook outside, so that is going to give me a heart and a half. So we're going to want to explore just a little bit more here. And see if we can find... Well, there's telepathy for dummies. The game's not giving me too much right now. It's not giving me too much. Now, it looks like my secret room could be right here. No, it's not. Okay. Well, then. If it's not right there, then I guess really the only other place that it could be is there? No? Huh. I don't know where it is. I don't know at all, and I only have one more bomb. I don't want to use my last bomb trying to find my secret room. Hmm. Well, I guess that's all I can really do on this floor. I feel a little bit helpless here because I don't really have much. I have Spirit of the Night, which is going to give me flying, which flying is very useful. It would have been uh, much better on the last floor. Yeah, it would have been much better on the last floor because I would have been able to get that red chest, but unfortunately not. So I guess we're just moving on to the next one. Moving into our Caves 1. And I want to talk a little bit about the game and the unlock thing. So a lot of people have been asking, like, why am I only playing on normal mode and stuff like that? The reason I'm playing on normal mode is because you don't want to go into hard mode until after you have the chest unlocked. Because you need to do everything. You need to do hard mode to the chest on every character. And there's no reason to do hard mode until you actually have the chest unlocked. And that'll come later down the line in this series. I would imagine somewhere around episode 20... I have no idea. You have to do at least nine mom kills. Let's see, nine nine mom's heart kills. Then you have to do five runs through the cathedral. So that would be plus the one kill itself. So, and then you, next run you can actually do it. So episode 17 will be the first chest run, I think. That's when we'll actually get to see it. Yeah, I think. I think that's when we get to do the thing. I don't know. I'm kind of doing that math off the top of my head. But, yeah, we want to unlock the chest first before we start dipping into that into that hard mode. And I definitely should have had my Book of Belial up before doing this challenge room. Because I want to have uh, that extra damage for all three of the ways. Rather than just using it for, like, a room with, like, just a couple enemies inside of it. But I'm impatient. I decided to just kind of jump in there talk to you all about the how why how we're going to do things why we're going to do these things and i think the general consensus is i've looked over the all the comments that you said it looks like we're going to probably be going the good old randomized wheel until we actually uh unlock the lost because the randomized wheel is really nice that way i don't know what we're getting and we can have fun together with it I decided to just go ahead and jump into that curse room also because I like to play very risky. It doesn't really matter to me if I find or if I don't find anything. I can live with a heart and a half right now. It doesn't matter if I got a devil deal right now. I couldn't take it anyway. I have to find a red heart container. So, yeah. And there's a good chance that it, it would have to be a really strong devil deal for me to want to bring myself down to half a heart. You know, there's not many things that are going to make me want to do that. And most of the big items, like Judas's Shadow uh, and Death's Touch, that are big in that pool, I don't even have unlocked yet, so I can't really do anything with that. All right, we got a big room coming up. I didn't show the seed. I'll put that in the description, PQK716WK. I totally forgot to do that. I'll make a note to put that in the video at the very start, pointing that I forgot to do that. I'm so sorry. It's just not a, it's just, it's not a habit with me just yet. I'll, I'll, I'll be more consistent with that. I'm sorry. I've actually, I think that's the first time I've missed it, but it's fine. I don't have any keys. I have a key. So we're going to go to our shop. 
And we're going to pick up mom's key. Perfect. Now I have two keys. I like this. I like how that quickly turned around from I don't have anything to I have it. See, all we have to do is complain and it will happen. I have a feeling that my secret room is down there. Like right in that little crevice right there. Right below that big room. I think it's right there. I'm going to check it after this one. So what mom's key is going to do is it's going to greatly increase our chance of finding items inside of chests. So things like Tammy's head and stuff like that. Higher chance to find items. And our secret room is not in there. That is a shame. Uh, it will also usually increase the volume of items that you get. You can see I opened up a gray chest there. I got quite a few items in it. And that was really nice. And that is very common once you have mom's key. It's probably one of the best passive items for just casually playing. And even in, even in speed running. Like, it can be such an awesome item. I'll almost, I will never turn down the mom's key. Okay, that's got to be the super secret, right? No? How about here? What about here? See, I, I got it. I get it every single time. And I'm probably going to... Now that I've picked up the mom's key, I think I'm going to donate on the next floor. All right, so let's go ahead and pop our Book of Belial here. So the trick with Gertie is you don't want to actually move until Gertie moves. That way, it just goes in a nice little side-by-side -side line. Either up and down or left and right. Makes it much easier to dodge. And if you actually have enough tier rate, you can stop Gertie from moving. Which is really nice. And because I have the Nod Leaf, I can just stand still and uh, stop taking damage. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to be able to really take anything in this Devil Deal. Well, okay. It did give me three red chests, which is the best case scenario. I was hoping there would be actually something inside of it. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, boy. Well, then. <laughs> I don't have any health. Here, let me fix that for you. Allow me to just give you all the consumables in this game. Okie dokie, then. I'm sorry, Baru. I didn't mean to do that. Here. Have money and health. Thank you, game. I accept your apology. <laughs> oh, that is interesting. Well, we're going to definitely play this guy out. Never mind. Health up. Health up? Health. Oh, that's the telly pills. All right. Well, see you guys later. I could play out the, the judgy for maybe getting a soul heart, but that's such a low chance. I would probably be sitting here for about 10 minutes just gambling for one soul heart, and I'm not going to put you guys through that. Don't worry. I'm not going to do that. I probably should do that considering my health situation, but I'm not going to. Well, hopefully we can actually find something in this next devil deal at the very least. And I'm going to see if there's a free cursed room, which there is, thankfully. So let's go ahead and go right over here. And more pills. We have bad gas. More I found pills, which uh, for those who are curious, I found pills doesn't actually do anything. Um, all it will do is just give you a little hair on your head, but because I'm already wearing the fez and the infamy, it's not going to give you an actual visual effect. But it doesn't do anything negative. Excuse me, just, just walking on by. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pop my book of Belial here, and uh, this might be the end of our streak. This is a, a very good chance this is the end of our streak. All right. I need some health here, game. That is not health. But it is a little bit of safety. It's a little bit of safety. So let's see what we have in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that. Pop that Telly Pills, get that boss room. I could have maybe gotten a soul heart out of that. 
we're gonna have to play this extra extra safe now because anything can kill me in one hit and there are no extra lives right now you know i'm gonna be searching all these things for maybe a a magic mushroom or something a liberty cap is nice you know don't get me wrong i love the liberty cap oh god i can't one shot these guys just yet that was a little scary greed is not who i wanted to see in my shop right now this is not a happy little time for baru not a happy little time at all i'm not i'm not feeling it right now i am definitely not feeling it right now oh god Block that shot. Lost contact is going to make it so that way our tears. Oh, God. My heart is actually racing through this entire thing. It is going to make it so our tears block their tears. It is considered DPS down. Oh, just give me a health up game. Just give me a health up. I would greatly appreciate it. It would be, it would be appreciated by all... Maybe by the people watching and by myself. You know, that would be nice. I was hoping to have a nice little easy run. Maybe get a couple of health ups. I, oh, I don't know where... Come on, break that guy. There we go. I don't know where my super secret could be right now. What are the chances I just find like a random little soul heart? Or something. What's... Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but bear with me here. Okay? Bear with me here for just a moment. What if I gambled for a soul heart? <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do it. But listen, sometimes... Sometimes you gotta make the decisions in life as to what exactly you want to do. And I would love to have health. That would be amazing right about now. I almost walked into a fly and died because I forgot that they spawn them and I can't kill them in one hit. Oh, please give me health. Oh, pretty please. I'm, he's not going to give me health. I'm just calling that now. He's not actually going to give me health. Well, there's no way I can play you out. So how about you give me something? That's more keys. How about that? Can we get anything in there? Nope. That's that's a red heart. Don't you dare give me Skatol. Alright. I have Skatol. Alrighty then. Well, I guess this is our... I guess this is our build. This is what we're going with. At least I got some extra bombs. And I'm not too terribly far away from my boss. So I guess that's nice. Oh, I'm just I'm just waiting for it. Oh god, here we go. Oh god. All right. Those guys are dealt with. These guys thankfully move a little bit slower because I do have Skatol. That's just a that's just a fire. It's okay, Baru. It's safe. Okay, so my super sec my super secret room can't be right there. It can't be right there. How about here? Are we feeling that? Oh, please give me a heart. Wrong kind! <sighs> it's almost comical at this point. It's almost comical at this point. Mom's pearl. That could be the lifesaver that we need, honestly. I did say give me a heart. I did say that. All right. Well, here's hoping I don't die in this fight. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be a fight, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be a fight. 
I don't really have too much in the way of damage. Now I'm really, yep, that's what I'm not hope. That's what I'm hoping that he doesn't. That what she doesn't do. Hole. Oh, okay. Need you to not do that. Need you to not do that. You understand me? We have we have an agreement with each other. I'm just gonna sit right here and I'm gonna really hope that I don't get hit. This is pretty much my strategy now. Is we're just gonna we're gonna slowly slowly fight Gertie and all of her health. Gave me a really tanky boss, an easy boss, but still a tanky boss. I'm just waiting for one of those little uh, little spitters right there to just launch it, launch a shot into me, and it's just gonna it's gonna take me down. Okay, whoa, calm it down there, calm it down. All right, slow and steady. Please give me a health up. That's not a health up. Oh, thank God. Ha! Ah, thank you. Okay, I don't want to live off half a heart. All right. <sighs> the game gave me a little bit of a breather here. All right. It did give me some movement speed, which is nice. It gave me the pact. It's tier rate, a little bit of damage, but most importantly, it gives me two soul hearts. So even though you know taking a deal would normally kill me, uh, it will give me those two soul hearts afterwards. I hope you're all enjoying this. You know. I don't, you know, I, I love, I love streaking, and I, I, part of me is saying, like, just don't die, just don't, don't screw it up, Baru, you're only, like, four episodes into this, you don't want to upload a death, because I feel like I'm obligated, if I was on a streak, would you want me to upload, you know, the death, was, is that something people would be interested in seeing, like, is he gonna go, is he gonna continue, oh god, I'm not gonna continue if I keep doing that, <laughs> oh, is he going to continue? Is the streak going to stay alive? Are you one of those people who will watch, you know, all the way to the end rather than peeking to see if the if the death actually happens? How about that? Is that something you would do? I'm curious. Cuz you know, I I do watch Northern Lion and I'm I'm waiting for that streak to also die. That's what we all wait for. We wait for the streak to inevitably die because at some point the game will just it will just hand you a death it's doing very good job right now to do so but it will happen eventually and it's just a matter of when it happens and is that something people would want to see oh well you all answer that question oh man oh man oh man oh man that is a lot of angry angry charges that i don't want to hear right now well, I think we can hang up making the boss rush this time around. I don't think we're overpowered enough to rock Judas. Maybe we shouldn't rock the wheel. Maybe that's something we shouldn't do. We're definitely not going to unlock Eve this time around. Go two floors up picking up hearts. I need every heart I can find. Okay. Into the big room. Let's see what we have. Pretty easy, actually. Which is really nice. It's always a breath of fresh air. As long as I can use this spectral to kind of cheese the, the rooms that might get a, a pot shot on me, uh, then we'll be just fine. I would love to get a petrified poop if I could. Uh, that'll make it so I can actually find soul hearts and poops rather easily and get my health under control. Because at this point, there's not that many items in the devil deal pool that I can take without dying. So I'm going to need to find something here. I'm going to need to find something, because you really don't realize how weak the Devil Deal Pool is. Oh, the Butterbean. I, I don't know how I unlocked you, but I have you. How weak the Devil Deal Pool is starting off. It, it's not the strongest thing in the world, and the God Room Pool is even worse. I don't even want to get started on the God Room Pool and how bad that is. All right. Moving on through here. I hope I haven't missed any tinted rocks. Well, that's a random soul heart. Let me actually just take a quick uh, look, see here. It doesn't look like we've missed any tinted rocks. I don't think we've really gotten any this round. It's just been, you know, non stop death and destruction. 
pretty much the whole way through. All right, well, we haven't found our item room yet. We're definitely going to want to do that. That's high on our priorities here. We're going to want to check our shop. More than likely, we are going to get greed, however, uh, or rather super greed. He loves to follow up. And we're going to want to get this guy out of the way first. Don't want him jumping on top of me. And I'm not going to go into my boss fight just yet. I want to try and make some more health. And I guess that's re that's really it. Because I need to make I need to have at least three soul hearts in order to pick up an item. Otherwise, it will kill me unless it gives me health. Although, nine lives is probably the go-to item that I'm looking for at this point. That is what's going to probably save this run uh, from a death, is nine lives. Now, I don't need to necessarily make Guppy, because I've already seen the collar. So my chances of making it are pretty slim. At the very least, I'm going to have a lot to donate. So let's just go ahead and see how much we can throw in here. I'm not going to bother touching the piggy bank. There's no reason to, you know, unless I have leftovers. I'm definitely not going to be tanking anything. Level 2 store, very nice. We'll be able to look at that on the next floor. Let's go ahead and pop that to a diamonds and just keep on donating here. We're actually getting a very large portion and I'm I'm actually I'm impressed. I'm impressed here. Like it is just it is just eating all my money and just take it. There we go. I was wondering when it was going to jam and I'm not I'm not mad at all. That was a a very nice donating session that we just did there with that donation machine. It was good. It was very very good. We're definitely going to be bombing as many skulls as we can cuz there is a chance that we could be getting um, dark hearts from it, which, you know, health, good. Health, very, very good. Or we could get a Hierophant card. Okay. Two of clubs. We will be popping that immediately. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're not actually going to pop this Hierophant just yet. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to wait on it and we're going to see what's in our devil deal first. Now, the reason we're going to do that is because we can potentially set ourselves up to what's called stealing a deal. And I'll explain that if it actually happens. And we'll go over it then. But what it's basically going to do is make it so that way I can take something that I wouldn't be able to necessarily afford otherwise. And it's going to allow me to go straight into this cursed room immediately. Which, we have a guppy's paw. That is the second piece of our... Or rather, no, that's the first piece of our cat. We saw a piece, but we couldn't take it. Another note is, if I do find a red heart container, I can come back and turn that red heart container into three soul hearts instead. Which is a much, much better idea to me. Alright. But first, I'm going to want to find that item room. Maybe we can... Uh, Get some more stuff here. I'm not going to bother taking that soul heart just yet because I want to leave as many on here for after when uh, for after the steal. Which again, we will explain when we get to that point. And that's assuming we don't get Krampus. That's always a possibility. We could just get Lord Krampus and, you know, not even have to do that steal. Chariot card. Very nice, but we're not going to take it. Actually, we are going to take the chariot. We'll use the chariot to kill the boss, then we'll come back and get the Hierophant. Perfect. But first, let's see what's in our item room, and it is terrible. I love you, Notch, but the Notch pickaxe is not that great. Um, as far as secret rooms, this looks like a candidate here. No go. Um, it can't be either of those two. So that is unfortunate. Uh, it could be here. Definitely, definitely could be right there. So let's try it. See if we can find our secret room. Not over there. But right here. There we go. There's our secret room. A little bit of cash. Back up to 69 cents. Perfect. All right. The things you gotta do sometimes. Alright, so we're gonna hit our Book of Belial, get a little bit of damage in here. Wait for Loki to kind of do his thing. If I ever get in a position, we're gonna hold on to this Chariot card. Don't want to pop it immediately. Actually, he doesn't have that much health. We'll just go ahead and pop it. Get those taps in. 
There we go. Take out a large portion of his health. And there we go. Now we're going to leave the placenta on the floor. And my devil deal should stay open. What's even in here? I kind of want it. Actually, no, not really. Never mind. I don't even want that. Sister Maggie is not worth killing. It's not worth all this extra effort for. So instead, I'm just going to bolster my health while I have the chance. If I have the opportunity to do so, I might as well do it. So we're going to go... We're going to pick up the placenta. We're going to go back to Guppy's paw. We're going to turn this one red heart into three soul hearts. There we go. Now we'll go back and pick up our Hierophant card. I'm still not going to use the Hierophant just in case. I'm going to hold on to it for later use. And uh, we'll see what ends up happening here. Definitely not a strong run. I wouldn't say this is a one run yet. This is honestly a, taking a little bit longer than I had originally wanted to, but the game just does not want to give me a victory right now. And we are going to search for our super secret. Doesn't look like it's over there. This looks like it could be the only other place unless it's somewhere randomly in my map, which I'm not going to bother with trying to find. So let's go ahead and move on. Is there any tinted? There is not a single tinted rock. All right. I don't think we'll be going to Shoal on this round. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm just not feeling like this build is ready for Satan unless I find Brimstone or something equally ridiculous. I'm, I'm gonna have to find something to make this build viable. And there are champions that are ready to stomp my face in. And they are doing so very, very well. Okay, get them from stomping. Let's take them out. Let's find that item room quickly. At least the lost contact is doing a little bit of help here but it is lowering our DPS by a significant amount until we can find piercing at the very least. I guess the plus side is even if I die, I donated a lot of money, which goes towards unlocking stuff. That's what I'm going to have to look at here. At least we unlocked stuff. I mean, we got the butter bean. That's like the next best thing, isn't it? Good old butter bean. Bomb as many skulls here as we can. Maybe we get some more dark hearts. Or we can just get a bunch of skull caps. Let's see what this card is. Magician, no thank you. I don't have a use for you. Now I will say it is uh lost contact is very nice for any kind of enemy that has like uh homing tears or something like that. You can just remove the tier altogether. You don't have to deal with that curve that they like to throw at you. 30 minutes on Depths 2. This is a long episode. I do apologize. I like to try and keep all of my episodes at least under uh, the 30-minute mark, but this one just does not want to give me anything. I mean, I think I'm still rocking, you know, the most basic of... Uh, most basic of damage. Do I even have a damage up? I think that's a better question. What do I even have? Not really. I don't really have much. I mean, I have the Lost Contact, but that's not increasing your tier size by too much. I have something, though. I've already forgotten what I picked up, but it's not that significant. I know that much. We'll probably save that last bomb for trying to find, like, a secret room or something to that effect. At least all the flies are not, uh... Or, actually, I'll just use it right there. Hit that one tinted rock that I think I've seen so far. And I get a soul heart and a dark heart from it. Very nice. Very, very nice. We do have a high chance of finding soul hearts and things like that because of the mom's pearl. It will increase your chance of finding those. So I pretty much... I will always take the mom's pearl for a trinket early on. Although Demon's Tail, now that we have it unlocked, is honestly probably one of the best trinkets that I can have right now for potentially finding health. What the Demon's Tail will end up doing, which we unlocked in the last episode, is any red heart that would spawn naturally in a map, like if there would normally be a red heart there, it will now be turned into a dark heart instead. Not going to bother gambling. There's really nothing I can gamble for right now. As much as I would like to do that. 
we'll go ahead and bomb all those guys, speed that up a little bit, and find ourselves another card. Hopefully it'll do something for me here. A judgment. Which one we getting? All right, we'll go ahead and play you out here, buddy. How about a health up? There we go. Good boy. Good little boy. Now our health situation's under control. Now we just need to find some more damage. 30 minutes in. Health situation under control. PhD, that will make all of our pills useful now. We'll go ahead and take that bomb, and I think that's pretty much all I'm going to be looking for, to be honest. We found our item room, we found our shop. There's not going to be that much left on this floor, so let's just go ahead and, for the sake of time, let's go ahead and move on and go into the wrong room. Let's do that as well. There we go. We'll take two hits for being dumb. I'm just lying. I'm just setting up the. I'm just setting up that black heart for a little bit of extra damage. All right, pop our book of Belial, which is really our only damage up so far. All right, mom's foot. We are gonna try and abuse the hand here, just a little bit, just a little bit here, so that way maybe we can get a little bit faster kill. Come on, mama, show me your hand. Show me your hand, mom. Oh, man. You know, at least having an orbital at this point would be nice. Like a cube of meat, bandage ball, something. Just something to put a little bit of damage in there. Hopefully this devil deal gives me something of value here. That's what I'm hoping for. Although, let's be honest, I'm probably going to get Krampus. Okay, at least we got the mark, you know? It's useful, it has its uses. It gave me a little bit of speed and a one damage up. I can't complain considering that that probably doubled my damage. I mean, look, look at how much my damage went up. It went from three to five. I don't know how accurate that actually is, but yes, is all I can really say. All right. So let's go ahead and make our way to our final deal, our final uh, regular boss before we have to fight the heart. And then hopefully we will be able to end this one intact. I'm pretty confident in being able to go ahead and end this, end this run just as is, as long as we don't fight anything too crazy uh, for our bosses. We do have flying, so we can't really get Mama Gertie. Although I think Mama Gertie's a utero boss and not a womb boss. Uh, utero and womb being, or utero being the harder version of the womb. Alright. So we're, as soon as we find our boss here, we'll be on our way. Eternal enemy. So eternal enemies are a little bit interesting. They'll always drop an eternal heart, which we're going to go ahead and grab. And, well, at least if you're on normal mode. But the interesting thing about them is that they have to be killed last. Meaning, you physically cannot harm them until every other enemy is dead in the room. Which, depending on what ends up being eternal, can be a little bit trolly. Especially enemies that spawn more enemies. Alright, Blasphist for a boss. Not that bad. We can kind of just sit right here with our Spectral. Uh, it will take a minute, but we can kill this boss without taking really any damage here. The tears will not hit us. Although we might get a little bit of contact damage if they slide into this little rock here. But it looks like we're going to be pretty safe. I should probably hit my Book of Belial. That's probably a smarter idea. Alright, pretty easy boss. Let's see what we get here. Blood Clot, a little bit of damage. And the Nail. Alright, well, we got Tele Pills. I'm going to go ahead and take the Nail. So what that is going to do is every time we use it, it is going to give us a soul heart. So as long as I can use this thing, you know, a couple of times, it'll pay for itself. But the, the uh, important thing is that it will also give us damage and allow me to um, uh, break rocks just by walking over them. So it's really useful. So we'll go ahead and hit it in here. And the blood slot is a little bit of extra DPS. So now I feel very comfortable. Uh, being able to do this. Let's just go ahead and hit the Tele Pills and see what happens. 
All right, we didn't get any closer. I was hoping for the, just the the instant in, right straight into your boss telly pills, which can happen. But it looks like we are gonna have to go up there uh, near the top. Might as well unlock those blocks. It's not the worst thing. You can actually find soul hearts and money and all sorts of stuff by unlocking those blocks. So if you have the extra keys, I mean, go ahead and hit them. It's not actually the worst thing. And it looks like we're going to have a library here, which is very nice. This could potentially uh, give us something in here like a Book of Shadows. Gives a little bit of invulnerability. Uh, it could be a couple of cards in there to turn the tide. An Empress card would definitely be very nice. Give me a little bit of extra damage on my final boss. And we do have the Book of Shadows. Now, we're going to play this out right. We're going to do this correctly. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get my charge up. I'm going to get my charge up for my nail. Nail it up. Then I'm going to go in, grab those two batteries. That'll give me two soul hearts. Or rather, three soul hearts all together. And then I'll grab the Book of Shadows for the boss. And we'll live our... We'll just live a happy little lives. And this will be a dead end. This will be a nice little dead end. I'm just going to bomb out of that. I don't like that room. Especially in racing. It's just the worst. Always a dead end. Some more soul hearts are very appreciated. And we shouldn't have too many rooms left. So here we go. Let's go ahead and hit that nail three times so we can get all that health. Now we'll grab the Book of Shadows. And that should be enough. With this much health, I feel like that should be enough to uh, kill Mom's heart and anything that might come along with it. Because our DPS is definitely low enough to where we are going to get the extra enemies. I won't get the nail damage for the final boss, but I think about, like, I think it's like 15 seconds of invulnerability is a little bit more important right now. At least just a little bit more important. This is going to be a 40 minute episode. Oh boy. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit this. Let's get these eyes out of the way. And let's just try and deal as much damage to Mom as we can before this Book of Shadows falls off. Wow, that was actually really quick. At least we got the heart or the eyes out of the way. Shielded Contact is definitely going to be very useful here. Oh. Now, the strategy that you'll see that I'm doing right now is I'm kind of moving with my tears. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can kind of create like a small wall of about three to four tiers. And the reason I do that is because if I just shoot one at a time, all staggered like that, she's just gonna block all of them. So I'm kind of just running in there with like a couple of tiers when it's safe to make sure that a few of them do make it through there. Now the good thing about this fight is that if you can, you know, do some dodging, those tiers that mom shoots will hurt the other enemies. As I get hit, do the dodging. You know, all that good stuff. So far, she's giving us a, some pretty easy patterns. Hopefully, we don't get have to fight Teratoma. But it looks like we're going to get all the easy enemies, which is really nice. You're going to want to try and get those shots in those crevices there. Once she does the Brimstone, we'll be a lot better off. There we go. Don't have to worry about my shots getting eaten. And as much as I would love to take this build to Shoal, I think I'm going to pass. And instead, just say, that is the end of the episode, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate all the support you've been showing this series. And hey, if you enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe for future episodes. And don't forget to like it as well and all that good stuff. Anyway, let's see what's in the box this time around. What's in the box, little Isaac? What do we got? Oh, that's just terrible. Oh, that's just wrong, man. Uh, Transcendence has appeared in the basement. As well as the Solar System Challenge. That'll be fun finding all of those. Thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one, everybody. Later.